Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Today in the kitchen, I will be showing you step by step on how to prepare these fluffy and soft and delicious, flavorful, we gotta add flavorful, cheese scone. So let's get into the kitchen and put this together very, very quickly. It doesn't even take long. Thank you so much for your love and support. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you on the channel. Salabaga bake, salabaga bake prepare our delicious cheese scone here i have some all-purpose flour and everything i'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience okay in goes our baking powder and give it a good old mix i'm gonna go in with some garlic powder and you want to mix that into you know mix all the dry ingredients together stir it stir it this step is not necessary, but I love to give the scones like a nice vibrant color, especially because I'm not using like the, the yellow, yellow um, cheese. I'm using the extra sharp cheddar cheese, but I'm using more of the pale color one. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of food coloring. And again, like I said, optional. If you don't want to put it in, in, put them in like a pinch, an incy bincy pinch of it, right? And you want to give this, Mix it in again. You know, as you add stuff, stir it in. You want everything to blend nicely in the flour. Now we're gonna proceed to grate abe butter in here and then incorporate that nicely. So I'm using my grater to grate it. This butter is hot, it freeze, right? I just took it out of the fridge. And why I grate it in, it's so much more easier to incorporate. Um, You can cut it in cubes if you would like, but this is like so fast, so. Why do hard work when you can do easy work, right? Anything to make life easier in the kitchen. So I'm going to incorporate this, grate it in, and then I'm going to go in with my finger and mix it now in. Now that I have my butter grate in, I am going to go ahead and use my hand and blend it in. You can use a pastry cutter, whatever you want um, here. But for me, I prefer to use my fingers because it does the job way easier and everything is blending nice. So you want to make sure when you blend the butter and flour together, like if you're making pastry dough, you know, um, biscuits and stuff like that need cold butter, cold milk, you know. So um, you want to blend it in nice. And when you blend this, you should get like a like a texture, like when you a beach and you pick up a sand and you play with the sand. That's what you want, you know. You want a nice beachy sand texture here. So you want to make sure you put in the work and you work it in. So now that I have this all blended in, as you can see, nice and blended. Look how nice. You can know the dough is rich and nice because when you compact it, it's holding its form. Mm, and it's smelling so good, the butteriness. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. So now I'm going to go in with some scallion. Drop my scallion in. In goes some parsley. And I'm going to add some red be bell peppers here and mix it all in nice. Give it a nice pop of color. You want your food look nice and um, bold and um, colorful, you know? But this is option if you don't want to put this in. Don't put it in. But um, I love it. I love the flavor. I like I like the color. I like to see colorful food. You know what I say? Yeah, eat with your eye first. Your eye aspire up everything and you eat with your eye first. So now that is mixed in nice. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mustard, okay? Ooh, let me open my mustard. And in goes our mustard here. And you're gonna mix that in too. A pair mix, you know, hey, you know, a pair mix. You build muscle in the kitchen. Now that I have this all nice and blending, I'm gonna go in with my cheese. Yes, add your cheese up in there. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna use all this cheese in here and I'm gonna grate a little bit more to put on top of it. Mix it in. Mm, my goodness. I'm gonna go in with my cold milk here. And um, I'm going to put how much I use in the description box, but gradually add it because guess what? Like I always say, whenever you're working with um, flour, the texture is different. You know, the temperature that you live in affects the flour. So don't dump all the milk in and then boom, next thing you know, you get too much liquid. And, you know, it's not going to come out right because then you'll have to add flour and it's not going to balance with the baking powder. So you want to gradually add and bring it together, you know? 
So I'm gonna do that step and then we're gonna finish this up. Brought this dough together and this is what it's looking like. It's not too sticky or anything. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my pastry mat and then we're gonna, you know, work it into a nice smooth dough. You know, work the dough too much like knead, knead, knead. We're just gonna, you know, stack it on top of each other to create layers. And whenever you're making any sort of scone or biscuit, that's what you wanna do. You wanna stack it on top of each other to create that nice thick layer. So to create those beautiful layers, as I mentioned, here I am rolling out this scone dough. And to create that layer, what you're gonna do, any sort of biscuit you make or scones, you wanna create that layer or, or layering or pocket. So you're just cutting it and stacking it on top of each other. And that's gonna give you that nice layer and flakiness. And when you finish doing that, use your biscuit cutter or whatever you're using to cut it. Um, and do about an inch thickness or half an inch thickness because if you do it thicker than that when you bake it it's going to fall over in the oven like it's gonna tip over because it's gonna double in size and um, here mine is showing thicker than it is because the camera is pretty zoomed in but i'm using the biscuit cutter and cutting it out so Last this is it let's least, proceed to the next we're step we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go ahead and glaze the top of this with some coal milk dab some cold milk on top of it and then we're gonna put some cheese on top i have my oven preheating there 375 degrees fahrenheit dash this in anyway from 15 to 20 minutes until i have that nice rich beautiful color and look how cute they're looking who's hungry imagine um making a set of this for um iftar you know for those who are fasting for ramadan this is perfect you can have it and make a batch of it and you know eat it in the morning before you start fasting you know it's gonna keep you up with a nice cup of tea you know you know you're, you're in business right so i'm gonna go in with my cheese you know let me break up my cheese a little bit it's a little bit too um fat what should i say but I'm gonna break it up a little bit. I don't like it so chunky, chunky. And it's obviously the same cheese that I add into the uh, mixture. That's what I'm adding here. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cheese on top. Not a lot, you know. Cheese it up a little bit on top. I'm gonna clean up all them I fall. I'm gonna worry about pick them up and put them on top. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Here you have it, our finished delicious scone look at this look how nice and fluff they're looking so let's go ahead and break into it and see what they're looking like on the inside so i went in and break it obviously justin wanted to taste this but this is what it's looking like look how soft and fluffy it is i have a nice beautiful golden brown color let's break into that look how soft and fluffy it is it's so flavorful let's have justin give you guys his review on this we have justin who already eat two we got to monitor this child, but I I want him to give his review, like let him, let you guys know what are his thoughts on it. I obviously can chase, taste the cheesiness, but I also like the, the veggies that are in here. It gives it a little bit more flavor, which I like. Yeah. And is it hard or is it soft? Oh, it's soft. It's soft nice. and flaky. Yeah. And oh my it's God. It's crusty on the outside and soft on the inside. It's really nice. Perfect combination. So I hope you guys enjoy this scone recipe. You give it a try. Let us know if you try it and what are your thoughts on it. Sending our love, thanks, and gratitude. See you guys soon in another delicious recipe. Take care. Stay blessed.